HIV prevention. You cannot get HIV or AIDS. There are so many myths or misinformation surrounding us that you can get HIV from touching this or that, but in this video, I am going to explain scientifically proven facts that HIV or AIDS cannot be transmitted from the ways that I'm about to share with you. When AIDS first made headlines back in the 1980s, there was plenty of misinformation surrounding the newly discovered disease. Today, despite all of the information made available about HIV and AIDS, but still, there are so many common misconceptions floating around. Before we begin please subscribe our channel and hit the notifications icon. So you may never miss out our videos. Number 1. Air. There is a myth that you can get HIV from breathing the air around an HIV-infected person, or from hugging or holding hands with an HIV-positive person. The fact is that the HIV virus cannot survive in the air. So you can't get it from sharing a space with someone who is HIV-positive. Number 2. Animals. As you know that HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus, which means that the infection can only be passed between humans. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention states that there is no evidence that dogs, cats or non-primate animals can contract the human immunodeficiency virus or transmit it to human beings. Number 3. Coughing, Sneezing or Spitting. HIV virus cannot be transmitted through coughing, sneezing or spitting, because HIV cannot be airborne. It is not present in the tiny particles of moisture sneezed or coughed out of someone's mouth. Spitting, because HIV cannot be transmitted in saliva. There is only a trace of the virus in these bodily fluids, so they can't transmit HIV. Number 4. Food, Drink and Cooking Utensils. According to the World Health Organization, HIV cannot be transmitted by water or food. In fact, HIV does not live long outside the human body. Even if the food contains small amounts of HIV-infected blood or semen, exposure to the air, heat from cooking, and stomach acid would destroy the virus. Moreover, HIV can be passed on through sharing food, drinks or cooking utensils, even if the person preparing your food is living with HIV. Number 5. Insects. As you know that insects can transmit some illnesses, HIV is not one of them. To transmit HIV, a mosquito or another insect would have to bite a person with HIV, then inject the blood back into another person's body. Insects do not re-inject old blood into a new person, so it is impossible for them to transmit HIV. Number 6. Kissing. There's no chance of getting HIV from closed mouth or social kissing, and you can't get HIV through saliva. In some very rare cases, people have gotten HIV from deep open mouth French kissing because they and their partners had blood in their mouths from bleeding gums or sores. Number 7. Musical Instruments. HIV can't survive on musical instruments. Even if it is an instrument that you play using your mouth, it can't give you HIV. The same is with toilet seats, tables, door handles, cutlery, sharing towels. HIV does not survive on surfaces, so you can't get HIV from any of these. Number 8. New or sterilized needles. New needles can't infect someone because they haven't been in contact with infected blood. If used needles are cleaned and sterilized they can't transmit HIV either. Number 9 sweat, tears, or urine of someone who has HIV. HIV cannot be transmitted through sweat, tears, or urine. Since the HIV virus cannot survive outside the body and is not present in other body fluids such as saliva, tears, or sweat. This means that a person cannot contract HIV through sweat, tears, or urine of someone living with HIV. Number 10. Touching someone who has HIV. HIV can only be transmitted through specific bodily fluids, so you can't get HIV from touching someone, hugging them or shaking their hand. Number 11. Toilet seats, tables, door handles, cutlery, sharing towels. The HIV virus cannot be transmitted by casual contact, from a toilet seat, a doorknob, a fork, or a handshake, for that matter. You can't get HIV from any of these, as it can only be transmitted through specific bodily fluids. Number 12. Tattoos and piercings. 
There is only a risk if the needle used by the professional has been used in the body of someone living with HIV and not sterilized afterwards. However, most practitioners are required by law to use new needles for each new client. Number 13. Water. HIV cannot survive in water, so you can't get HIV from swimming pools, baths, shower areas, washing clothes or from drinking water. You can be safe about not getting AIDS from your drinking water, there is absolutely no evidence that AIDS can be transmitted through drinking water. Now, how about you? Do you still have any misconception? Would you avoid sharing foods, drinks, or towels while living with HIV person? Let me know your answer, yes or no in the comments section below. I hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel health experts and help me sharing useful information to the world.